I stopped running from me, from who I am. What's up guys? My name is Savannah and I teach modern day hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through science and mindfulness. If you're new, hello. Today I'm opening up about a personal choice that I recently made and I think that a lot of you can probably relate to some of the things that I've been through. So if you're into rawness and realness or you're thinking about giving up drinking or just cutting back, then definitely keep on watching. Before we dive in, won't you be an absolute babe and hit that subscribe button maybe please think about it think about it so my problems with drinking started about seven years ago i'm currently 25 so i would have been about 18 at the time and i didn't really drink as a teenager um i was very sheltered i was brought up very conservatively and I decided that I wanted and well I was pushed into getting an engineering degree more on that later the being pushed in part and I don't know if you know this but <laughs> engineering school is really freaking hard it is difficult for even intelligent people it's just it's meant to root out the weak if I'm being honest like people just can't hang I remember on the first day of class our professor in the first 8 a.m. first day scared shitless still 17 years old and the professor said look to your right now look to your left only one of you is gonna be here at the end of the four years so from the beginning and that was the first thing that's told to you the very first thing like day one 8 a.m. that's the first sentence like hey you might fail like there's a one in three chance that you make it but there's also a two in three chance that you don't so that's a lot of stress on a human and then you know the college that I went to Florida Institute of Technology holla holla where you at uh there uh okay <laughs> so the college that I went to the Florida Institute of Technology has this four-year plan of 135 credits which is about 18 like stem class credits per semester so that works out to being like four and a half five classes of like every single class is really intensive science and math so it's just a lot to handle let me start by saying that engineering is something that i can't truly regret because my knowledge of how energy works within systems mathematically being able to see the the math and the science behind my personal spiritual beliefs is invaluable to me and then also the chemistry knowledge is so amazing because I can share it with you guys and really help educate you on the ways that we're being poisoned but it was never really something that I wanted for myself um, when I graduated high school I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was kind of just pushed into it by my parents namely my dad hi dad love you because they're all engineers like my mom and my dad and my stepmom and my stepdad they're all engineers and that's how they escaped poverty and that was like their messiah so of course they felt like it was what I needed to do and I took it on and I was like okay nothing bad can come out of this I was wrong about that part but we'll get to that in a minute but I always had this deep down feeling that what I was doing even though it was undeniably useful to have in my tool belt it just wasn't me it wasn't what i was supposed to be doing but i was just gonna do it get it out of the way and say that i did it and have it there to fall back on and i did do i graduated in the four years but when i graduated and i had to go out to the real world <clears throat> all i brought with me was my terrible coping mechanisms and the forerunner of which was binge drinking like every single weekend like I binge drank every single weekend in university even in the summers like if I missed a weekend it was like whoa this is crazy like I was either sick or I was like in with my boyfriend but even like even if I had a boyfriend I was still out drinking like taking my stress and pushing it directly to my liver instead of like you know coping with it and solving it like I do now but I didn't know any better like I wasn't raised to deal with things like that so I drank and I mean I didn't just 
when I say binge drink, do you know what that means? It's like you don't have a couple of drinks. You have like six doubles, which is like a double shot and then whatever mixer you have in with it, like a Coca-Cola or um, a Sprite or orange juice. And not only those six drinks, but also shots and maybe like some random liqueur or some random wine i mean it didn't even matter it was just when i was out and i had my like hot girl disguise on like i do right now i just and it was very egoic it was very egotistical too because like i did have my hot girl disguise on and i got a lot of attention from both like men and women and it made me feel special and then like i'm very shy and introverted naturally so the alcohol removed my inhibitions completely and i would just go out and have my ego inflated oh you're so pretty you're so cool and just do whatever and be crazy and i was young at the time so the hangovers didn't really hit me that hard and i'm gonna get into the like ego side and me being shy in a minute but if you're there right now, if you're like someone right now who is in the middle of like rampaging binge drinking, I seriously encourage you to sit down and like think about what you're doing. That sounds like I'm putting you in time out. <laughs> sit down and think about what you're doing. <laughs> I encourage you to think about why you are doing what you are doing the binge drinking. Why are you doing that? What is the actual motivation? Like, yes, it is fun. It can be enjoyable. But why are you doing all the time? Why do you have almost like that reliance upon going out all the time when there's nothing to celebrate? So you're just like partying. Why are you doing that? It's good, good to reflect on these things. So I encourage you like, I don't know, take out a piece of paper and pen, write down like, I do it because blah. And really do some soul searching here because I wish that I would have done this. I wish I had done something like that when I was in your situation. And speaking of reasons why binge drinking is a thing, for me, it was because I was running from who I am, from what I'm meant to do, and from where I'm meant to be. So I have always had these two sides within myself that I describe from childhood as like the person who wants to go to South America and like be a missionary. So I was grown up Christian. I was raised Christian. Be a missionary, like forsake all possessions and just help people. And then this other side that wanted to be like a big mogul, um, <clears throat> like wear Prada, um, have a big corner office like stuff like that and now that I'm older I realized that what I was describing as a child is my ego and my spirit and I'm sorry the other way around this one was my spirit this one was my ego and now I know that I this path over here this CEO uh, I'm so cool I wear great clothes uh, I had the latest ride I do you know whatever I want because I make so much money this is just an empty path. There is, I've gone down it. I've gone down it. I'm not, I'm speaking from personal experience. There is nothing here to gain. All of the true joy of life is over here. I was drinking because I was running away from myself, from my purpose, from coming to terms with that I wasn't in alignment, career or mentally with what I needed to do with my natural skills and talents and passions. And so alcohol just kind of numbed the pain and made socializing easy and made it so that I could at least a couple times a week, you know, on those nights that I went out, have fun and escape from where I was in reality. And that's a terrible reason to drink, especially when you're binge drinking. I binge drank and ran away from that for years, years and years and years. And when I graduated, which was, gosh, three and a half years now, when I graduated from college, it didn't get better. I had the degree, I had the diploma, but I knew that deep down that it wasn't right for me. And so my drinking got worse. Surprise, plot twist. Around the time that I, so it was, it's presently the very beginning of 2020, and I graduated in May 2016, and this is around, and I kind of like marked the 
start-ish time of my spiritual journey as November 2016. It's also when Blissful was founded. I got in this car accident um, three in the morning. Guess what I was doing? I was out drinking. I was drunk AF. And the spiritual journey since 2018 has seriously like picked up the pace and brought me so far that the person who used to go out binge drinking, the person who got in that accident that night in 2016 is we're two different people like i'm still my same soul but now she's out of the bag she's living she is here we don't hide her anymore so the more and more that i've come out of my shell and into myself and my natural talents and callings the less that i have felt the need to binge drink because i'm not running from anything anymore i'm not escaping or lying to myself anymore the last 18 months absolutely rocked my shit. I had sickness. I left a four-year relationship. I canceled a move out west. I quit my job at a major corporation that was like a dream job to anybody who went to my college. I completely took my engineering degree and was like, peace, bye. And it was a lot of changes all at once. It was a lot to go through. But I stopped running from me, from who I am. And to quote Oprah, who I love Oprah, she says, this is a paraphrasing, she says, the number one thing that you have to do in life is be yourself because you are given these natural talents and skills specifically to do what you are supposed to do to play your part in the greater collective. And if you're not gonna be you, then who is? So I started to resonate less and less with alcohol just because I don't need it anymore. And it's, I know, I know as like a healthcare professional that it's really, really bad for you. Like it's, it's one of the worst things that you can do for your body. It's absolute poison and it just really damages your cells over time especially your liver, which helps detox you from things. So I've been thinking a lot, and as Blissful has grown and I've matured on my spiritual journey and path and become more myself and step more into my power and who I am, I've just less and less resonated with drinking. So this past New Year's Eve, which was uh, 13 days ago, I went out drinking. I had thought about giving up alcohol for 2020. It was a fleeting thought. Um, I had done it in 2019. I went four months without any liquor, but I did pick it back up um, around my birthday, September. Uh, so New Year's, I went out and I had two glasses of wine, two vodka drinks. I think it was like, I don't know, orange juice vodka. And I was completely smashed. I don't know. I used to be able to drink like three to four times that and be fine. I was hammered. Someone had to carry me into my apartment. And I was hung over the next day. And I just thought about why I was continuing to do something that I know I don't like. And there's this whole other side where as I found out and discovered and stepped into and developed who my true nature, who I am. I found out that I'm an empath. I am a clairsentient person, if you will. And I naturally just take on the energy of other people. I'm like a sponge and I can't help it. And <laughs> honestly, finding out I was an empath made my self care go zero to 100 in like my ability to care for myself because I finally understood why I would be negatively affected by things. And for years, I, like I said, I'm very shy. I've been diagnosed as autistic even. And I'm just not someone that really opens up at all to anybody, especially strangers. Like if you saw me in a bar sober, like I would just sit in the corner and like shake like a little chihuahua. <laughs> but because I had alcohol, 
I never had to do that. My inhibitions were out the window and I could pretend to be an extrovert. I could pretend that I liked those things, that I liked going out, that I liked being around people who were also running from their realities. When in fact I never did. And even though my brain was turned off at the moment while I would be out binge drinking, my heart was still very much on and I would take on everybody's energies. And like I said, people who go to bars on the regular are usually like running from something in some capacity and I would take on the negative energies around me and I would get home and be drunk and sober up a bit and then I would just bawl my eyes out. This happened so many times that I would go to like a big club in Miami like and like I said it was very much an ego thing as well as like it was the escapism and then it was also like getting to inflate my my ego being like this hot girl. I would get home from being in these some of the best nightclubs in the world for free because if you are an attractive female um, you can like f do this thing where you find a club promoter and they will take you into the club and give you free alcohol and you're basically like decoration for the VIP tables for people who book their tables to already have hot girls at their tables when they get there. So I would do that and it would like, you know, oh, I'm attractive enough to like be, you know, a piece of art essentially and you know, the free alcohol didn't hurt. And I would get home from taking all that energy on that I didn't at the time realize I was taking on. And I would just cry my eyes out. Like it would be, I would be in, at Miami in a random hotel in the bathroom or on the balcony at six in the morning, just bawling. And if someone asked me like, why the heck are you crying? Like what's wrong? There was never a reason. I was just literally taking an emotional diarrhea. So because of the way that I reacted on New Year's Eve to the alcohol, I decided that it really just energetically did not fit with me anymore. And I've decided to give it up at least for all of 2020, potentially forever. And I'm so happy with this choice because I'm realizing how much freedom this restriction is bringing me. Like I can go out to places and not be slave to my inebriation. I don't have to keep drinking because I'm already drunk and already having so much fun. I can choose when I want to go home and I can be more cognizant of what energies I'm allowing into my being and what I'm around instead of, you know, ignoring it because I'm drunk. And I can not, I can, and I'm not going to be wasting entire weekend days or weekdays because it got to that at one point. I'm not going to be wasting entire days of my life eating junk food on the couch, hung over, unable to think or do anything. I'm feeling like shit. And I'm not going to be screwing up my sleep schedule anymore because I'm out till 4 in the morning when I normally go to bed at 11 p.m. There's just so much benefit to letting go of the need to follow the binge drink culture. So if you're someone who's thinking about doing something like that, I encourage you to do a trial period and just see how freeing it can be. And if you're someone who chooses to keep drinking, that's totally fine too. It's completely your life and your choice and your path. The only thing that I would say is just really realize why you are drinking. If you're binge drinking and not just, you know, having some nice wine at dinner, why are you doing that? Sit down and be real with yourself. Have a heart to heart with yourself. Speak out loud if that helps to yourself. Next week we are talking about eating meat. Very divisive topic within the spiritual community. Is it hindering your spiritual growth? Is it hindering your emotional healing? Can it be done consciously? Can it be done in a way that is justifiable? If you are going to do it, and if it can be done in a proper manner, how do we do that? How do we avoid all the nasty chemicals that the food industry would have us eat because, you know, they're trying to poison us, or they're lazy, or it's cheaper? What is the healthiest and best way to eat meat? flesh.
I'm going in-depth with that topic next week. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more healthy, happy, and natural lifestyle, then start by watching one of these two videos here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you could ever imagine. Have a blissful day.